yes a very good morning students welcome to the state live lecture of the geography for class 9 today we are going to start with the new chapter that is chapter number 10 urbanization before starting the lecture there is a short story which is based on the previous knowledge which we can relate that in our today's lesson the story begins with the the dialogue between a farmer and his son a very short story and it is being narrated in a dialogue writing so there is a two dialogues between uh, two characters with farmer and his son farmer is known as name is given over there takya and his son suresh here the father the father says to his son today you please come to the field to work field means in the agricultural field to work in the but the son is not ready to come to work in the field as the son wants to go to the factory but here the father asks the question why you want to work in the factory we should all together work in the agricultural field but here also again the son is saying no i want to work in factory so that i will get monthly salary i will work overtime i will i will get additional money bonus etc all the facilities which i can get easily if i will work in the factory then the farmer he is asking what about our agricultural fields who will look after the field yes then the suresh is saying that simultaneously i will see both the things i will see the fields also and i will work in the factory but here now suresh the son is trying to convince his father takya how is convincing him saying that listen takya listen daddy you recall your past now. let's go back behind you have to remember the earlier village earlier village how small was our village and how it was today there is a vast difference between previous village earlier village and right now present village the changes it can be seen that because of just a factory as the factory is near to our village here we can see the roads are developed the facilities like uh, hospitals hospitals schools and colleges even administrative offices are coming up yes here you can see on your screen also how the urbanization is be changing slowly here you can see the huge buildings will stand up in village people from outside they will come here and they will start staying so this is the development which we can see from village to a new city this too when suresh and tatya they were talking they were talking about the changes earlier village how it was and the latest the present village how it is with this a small story we can we have understood that students we are going to learn about a urbanization how a village how a city is being modern how it is being urbanized yes what are the advantages of it what are the disadvantages effects then problems all that we are going to learn in this lesson so we'll start the please so we'll start the lesson today yes you will notice that because of the factory near the village the occupation of the people of the village has been started to yes in the previous that in the short story what they have explained that 
near to the village or we can say in the village there is a factory there was a factory yes and the fact in that factory the people those who are working they have started changing their lifestyle and also they have started changing their village then more and more people from outside come and start living in the village transport hostels restaurants mess retail shops medical services etc start developing yes so as soon as students that when in the village there is a factory over there they will the village automatically it will start developing people will start people will start living in that village transport will improve roads will be developed properly that to the big roads hostels will build up restaurants medical services and rest all the facilities then as a result the basic structure of the village starts changing here on the image also here you can see this is the previous village and it has been changed to a city so the basic structure of village it changes totally to a new village or you can say a new city next looking at our country agriculture is the main occupation in rural areas mark this sentence as a very important part because agriculture that is the main occupation in india in france it is agriculture agriculture at its aligned occupations have been followed since times in memory now what is aligned aligned and in in memorial these two words are the new words aligned means the joint occupations and in mem in memorial means a for a long period for example for these two words i'll give you the example students you aligned occupations means what animal animal husbandry poultry farms you all know yes it is being related to the agricultural occupation means farmers the farmers those who are doing uh, the farming work since from long years back but now also when we compare that it is been very less yes because of the modern city because of urbanization but now various industries have started coming up in rural areas means previously in olden days most of the uh, we can say the person people they are their occupation was about this only about the farming but now we can see a very drastic change that there is less number of people they are using agricultural profession yes this is the changes but now various industries have been start, started coming up in rural areas yes this also you can see because of the atmosphere we can say climate changes or near to the river all these factors it affects to start a new industry so they when to start a new industry they have to see all the criteria and they are now also we can see the new industries are start building up in rural areas for example factory mills energy plants multi purpose projects etc so these are the examples of industries which are coming up in rural areas also no people come from the surrounding regions to work here and does the population of the village increases yes definitely now hear what they are saying here that when yes. when the industry is being uh, developed properly in that village or in that area the industry obviously it will be famous 
the amenities, facilities, it will get a, uh, you can say, on demand. Yes, that time, people, those who are near to that surrounding, they will start, they will start coming. They will start gathering together and they will stay in that village. Means here, the population of that particular village will increase. Yes. Why it will increase? Because they are getting all the facilities, they will work in the factory, they will get the income. Yes, because this is the reason the population starts increasing from one region to another region. Then, to fulfill their needs, other services also develop like medical facilities, food, hospitals, recreation, etc. Now, also the people, those who are staying in that village, which is which is now built up with the good industries, roads, everything. Slowly, they can see other services also being developed: medical facilities, emergency medical facilities, foods, different types of foods, hospitals, and recreations in the park or amusement parks, water park. These are the recreations. So, consequently, what we have understood is that extend the population of the village grows and form of the earlier village changes. Yes, means at last what we have understood that that the village will the village will grow definitely. Yes, and when we will compare the earlier village and today recent village. We will see a uh, various types of changes in that particular way. Then, when this changes, we can see physically. Yes, that time the there are the services also of government. It is being changed. See here. Uh, the gram panchayat providing public services to them means in the village who is working uh, in the village who is seeing all the uh, all the public services gram panchayat and which gives way to the municipal council or municipal corporation means in the village where you can see on the image to them all the panchayat members they are sitting on the chair and they are meeting is going on. yes on the whatever problems this is known as this happens only at the village means gram panchayat provides the public services to the village when then when the village it turns to the city when the village it turns to the city that time it will give way to municipal corporation. Means when we are talking about the city, we will look after it. We will look after it. It will municipal corporation. They will look after it. And when we are talking about the village, the gram panchayat members they will work for the village. So this is also the thing. Next. Next is these bodies provide different basic services to the citizens like drinking water, roads, transportation, sewerage network, street lighting, etc. These bodies means the municipal corporation body they, they will provide best to best services or to the citizens like drinking water facilities, then roads, transportation, sewerage network, street lighting, etc. It's all right now also we can see in our area the roads are developed for the drinking facilities we can see. Yes, we are all experiencing this type of services. Yes, so who looks after it? 
no municipal corporation do chapter besides this besides this also other facilities like town planning recreation facilities tourist places parks gardens etc also need to be developed means we have to see the primary needs also secondary needs also and the tertiary needs also. so what they have said here when we are looking about the public services yes when the municipal corporation they are working for public that time they have to see all the these points yes there yes now after that students after seeing to it there are we can see now after that now here they have fixed the criteria criteria for what criteria is there for defining a place as an urban area now if that village if that village is being uh, is being developed properly with all, all the amenities and facilities but who, how it will decide ki this is a uh, this village will definitely a urban area a city area how they will define so for that they have created the three criteria here are the criteria see if this criteria has been uh, defined in 1961 the census of india has decided to define urban on the basis of the following criteria the first is this one. more than 75% of the male working population should be engaged in non agricultural occupations the first criteria is what what more than 75% of the male yes the gents they will work in they will work in the in the uh, companies in the industries or their business means that is non agricultural occupation means more than 75% of the male they should work in the they should not work in the agricultural they should work in the industries factories in the offices yes or their own business this is the first right second criteria is the population of the settlement should be more than 5000 the population of that area should be more than 5000 and the third is the population density settlement should be more than 400 person square persons per square kilometer This means what? The population density of the settlement should be more than four hundred thousand square meters. The the population of that urban the settlement means they have to get the places. Yes, to stay that should be four hundred persons per square. So this is the criteria. According to this three criteria only, they are deciding that the area is urban area or a rural area. Next. talking of the urbanization in india the urban population has been increasing consistently from 1961 to 2000 then means here when we are talking about the urbanization the urban population the city population is increasing consistently means from 1961 to 19 So the two two thousand level. There is a very you can say we uh, can see uh, the increasing population. It has been more intense. 
from 1961 to 1981, this growth was around 5.5 percent only. But from 1981 to 2011, this growth was around 13.75 percent. This means that the urban population is increasing rapidly in India. This means that in urban population, the urban population in India is increasing very rapidly. Urbanization occurs because of many reasons. Yes, here we have seen that from 1961 to 2011, there is a increase in the population, and that's why the urban population in india is more now there are some reasons why urbanization occurs suddenly or after some time there are some reasons that reasons we are going to study in detail So, the five reasons are fixed of urbanization. First is industrialization, second, trade, third, mechanization and technology, fourth, transport and communication, and fifth is migration. These are the reasons of urbanization. The first reason about industrialization, we will learn. Industrialization. The development and concentration of industries in a region is a factor contributing towards urbanization. The development and concentration of industries in a region is a factor. The means the development of of the industries yes or in any particular region it is the main factor which will lead or which we can give birth to urbanization increase in industry leads to increase in the hopes of people yes definitely if in our village or in our area if there is industry all the peoples they will start hoping for the best job and for yes best job staying facility salary benefit they, there is will be the hope for all the people to stay in that area so this is the we can say this type of attraction towards these type of industries it will start growing in the people's mind so this is this increases the speed of urbanization then from other villages they other other village peoples they will start shifting to that main main area because of the industry in 19th century mumbai grew rapidly because of textile mills started on a large scale in mumbai many villages which were originally fishing villages kolivadas became part of mumbai metropolitan area then in 19th century firstly the mumbai which is which was rapidly growing on because of the textile mills yes and on a very large scale it has been started in 19th century but now many villages which are originally they are doing the fishing market yes that they are known as kolivadas yes they are also have become a part of mumbai metropolitan area so this with the industry these are the we can say changes we can see in the urbanization this is the first reason of urbanization that is industrialization and second before that see this mumbai in past yes this the image is about kulaba c face bombay this is the previous image student this one yes and at present the mumbai will be seen in this way so 
compare when we will compare these two images yes when we will compare these two images we can see the changes yes these are the changes we can see before and after next a place uh, now second reason of the urbanization is trade what is trade now in the chapter 9 we have studied about trade trade means what buying and selling of the product is known as trade now why the trade is been the one of the reason of urbanization we will see a place in a region is sometimes favorable in terms of transport loading and loading unloading and storage of good means here what they have said your students that at a one point of uh, in that state at any at one point of that state or uh, state only there the that place is, is very comfortable to upload the material so up, um, unloading the material unloading and storing the goods so so your what they used to they used to in the previous day they used to fix that region they used to fix that area he easily we should able to uh, um, we will able to the goods we can easily transport to all the regions easily and that place was fixed so this leads to development of trade and related services like business complex banks credit societies go downs cold storages houses etc it start grow for example nagpur in india nagpur in india is centrally located in india urbanization start increasing here because of the location facilitated trade now here they have given the example of nagpur why nagpur because nagpur in india is centrally located yes centrally it is located in india that's why the urbanization started increasing here why because of the perfect location because of this location student the those who are doing the import and export business that thing they used to easily uh, store is the goods in the nagpur area only they will uh, start loading their goods from nagpur they will they will send export also they can easily go from nagpur so this is also the main reason of urbanization that is trade okay second example is second reason of urbanization is trade next third third main reason of urbanization is mechanization and technology mechanization and technology now yo in this in this mechanization and technology yo now first in the earlier in the earlier days students in the previous days in the field in this agricultural field they uh, the farmers they used to uh, work with the bullock carts yes but now we can see but now we can see here the in today's century here we can see the tractor is being used yes in the first image what the here you can say there is a dry grass yes they the person with his hand 
is cutting those dragons yes or but in today's region in today's day at present here we can see with the machine the dry grass is being removed yes so this is the changes uh, we can see about the mechanization and technology means it means that when we use the modern way it means that here we are using the modern machinery in agriculture and in the previous earlier days they used to work with their own hands or they used to work with bullock so this is the uh, changes we can see in the mechanization and technology we uh, we can see lots of uh, advantages of mechanization and technology in various ways yes both are helpful to organization new machines are being started producing started developing new technology new softwares are being developed this is we can see a lot of advantages of this new machines or new technology in recent decades the use of technology has increased in agriculture yes in recent years in recent years the technology is using updated or the latest one in the agriculture means it in within a given time within a given time the work should be smarter yes and the time limit should it does it, it should not consume more means in a less time the work should be completed very smartly in a less time so how it will happen because the use of the technology only mechanization has also increased in rural areas agriculture is done with the help of machines on a large scale these days the manpower employed in agriculture became devoid of agricultural work devoid means less devoid means less this working class came to cities to look for work as a result urban population started to increase now the manpower which is working in the agriculture it can be seen very less this manpower is used very less in the agricultural field why because of just this new machines and with the new technology with the help of machine and on a large scale we can cover we can cover big area of agricultural field so because of this students the because of the students what happens the urban population it started increasing the working class the working class people they will start coming to the cities to look for work means in a very limited time only the agricultural work will be completed and that remaining work the people they will work in the city so cities population will increase definitely so this is also the main reason of mechanization and technology then third sorry fourth reason is about transport and communication fourth reason is transport and communication this is the fourth reason in regions where transport facilities like roads and railways develop urbanization of small rural settlements occurs rapidly over there means in the regions where transport facilities are developed properly roads also and the railways also that time the urbanization of small rural settlements are per capita means first of all already the transport facilities are there 
but when the population of that region <coughs> will keeps on increasing that time their facilities will be given more facilities for example here after the development of konkan railway many rail villages like saraude that is saraude village which is there in ratnagiri district lying closely to its proximity has started urbanizing means what they have here they have started developing the konkan railways yes but many villages which are near to that like for example saraude village they are lying closely to the konkan railways but when now that village is been urbanizing why because of the konkan railways has been transport facilities are good that's why the saraude villages the villages the saraude villages are increasing more and more hence their population is increasing so slowly how the konkan railways facilities go same like that saraude village villages transport facility will definitely be done properly then then second example they have given about the convo convergence of important rail routes through busavar that this that is the district jalga led to its rapid growth also means in the district the jalga district the rail routes which is passing through the busavar that time also the it will give definitely there will the rapid growth of this transport and communication transport and communication facilities will be grow on and it will keep growing on yes when this type of uh, when this type of villages it is being properly urbanized that time slowly the population will be get in this type of villages yes because all facilities are easily can connect so the people those who are living in other place in other village in other region they will come in the saraude village and they will stay why because the transport facility is good this is the fourth reason of trans of fourth main reason of urbanization then the fifth main uh, reason of urbanization is migration now what is migration first of all you have to understood and you have to understand about the migration migration means what students if the people those who are leaving their own place and they are being shifted to other new place permanently that is known as migration yes means uh, nowadays for example nowadays most of the villagers they are not uh, they are not staying in that village because they want to study they want to work they want to create their life yes that's why what they will do they will do the permanent shifting to the city to the urban area that is known as migration migration is a major factor affecting the urbanization this migration can be short term long term or permanent so here they have given the types of migration for the short term means only for the one year they will go from here to there yes for the long term for 5 to 10 years yes then permanent means everything they will pack their whole with the, they will go with their whole family and they will shift to their new place that is known as permanent settlement is migration means moving from one place to another place that is known as migration when migration occurs from rural to rural area rural to urban area or urban to areas means from village to village also there is a migration from village to city that is also migration and from urban to urban 
there is also one type of migration only the, the attraction of the the attraction of higher standard of life has also resulted in an increase in my migratory population in the cities now one type of attraction uh, people are having now i will not live in i will i will not live in the village village uh, areas i want to live in the city area yes why because there are so many big big buildings are there then malls are there cinemas are there big gardens then water parks are there these are this type of attraction the people they are getting it to the urban area yes because this facilities we cannot get in the village yes so here the people are being attracted towards the urban area so this is also we can say the main reason of urbanization people will start leaving people will uh, leave the village yes they will pack their things and they will start living in the urban city for example here migration migration occurring in cities like mumbai pune from other parts of india yes the people those who are living in uh, other cities or other state they will come in the in the pune city in the mumbai and they will start leaving because of we can say they want to study or they want to improve their lifestyle or they are attracted they are so uh, they are too much attract toward these places they will start migrating yes now your migration means what it's a from shifting one place to another whether it is for short period or whether it is for long term or whether it is permanent so this is also the major factor affecting urbanization yes now here we will revise what we have uh, learned or what we have studied in this two days session yes we have firstly we have firstly we have uh, studied what is urbanization urbanization means what it is a process of making an area more urban yes urbanization means what it refers to the population which shifts from rural to urban areas the decrease in the proportion of people living in rural areas that is known as urbanization that next we have studied the main reasons of urbanization main reasons the first reason we have studied about the industrialization yes when when in the village the industry will be developed when in the village the industry will be developed that time the peoples they will start working in that industry then slowly they will stay in that same village yes this is the this was the first region then reason second is trade yes here part for transporting or for uploading the goods unloading the goods storing the goods they need the one region or one place fixed yes for the trading process so they will fix that process and that area will also be an urban area then mechanization and technology when the new techniques or new machines new technology will start developing students that time the within a very limited time the machine will quickly do the work and they will finish it of the work the manpower will be very less so the remaining time the people they will work in the factory so this is known as the mechanization and technology last is second last is transport and communication 
transport and communication yeah just now we have seen transport and communication about the transport railways of konkan railways and when the konkan railways are developed properly the the villages which are near to that konkan railways they will also get a good transport and communication then last is migration migration means it's a major factor which is affects urbanization people they will permanently or for a long uh, term or for short term they will start migrating from one place to another these are the very main we can say very important reasons of urbanization yes now i hope you have understood this uh, the first session of chapter number 10 yes so for evaluation the above questions which you can see on your screen you have to write only the good points of this following yes only the four questions are there and you have to write the advantages of the following questions yes and for the uh, for the revision please read out the lesson students same lesson we are going to uh, continue tomorrow okay so i hope you have understood it complete the evaluation part okay thank you students